Welcome to Help with Natalie Cuomo, the podcast about a girl who just can't help herself. Welcome to the best hang of your life. Let's go. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Let's go. Okay. I feel a lot better about my dancing now after watching Paco. <laughs> This just feels like I'm supposed to be rolling or something. I'm like, it's 11 in the morning, dude, but I'm on fucking ecstasy. You do look like you're having a seizure. A a I did show, dose dude. your Red Bull. Do a live show, man. <laughs> Fuck me up, dude. I am here this morning. Welcome, you guys, to Hub with Natalie Cuomo. I am here with the amazing Zia Anderson. How are you? You're so nice to me. Hi. Thank you so much for having me on again. Thanks for being Love here. Goodness. Yes. And the awesome Paco. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> I don't <fucking> know. <laughs> what an introduction. You might know him from the Intern Olympics. Yeah, I got second place. Paul, you're the best. Thank you. <laughs> um, what's up, you guys? How are you? Good. Fucking cold. Yeah, super cold. It's the really sucks. cold. The weather is. Dude, she has holes in her jeans, but then mistake. her knees are just super red. They they were bright oh. red when I came in. My mm. legs hurt. My legs were hurting and then starting to get numb. And I'm no. just not, I'm so stupid. I'm just not prepared. You think that like living here, I've been here for a year now and you think at some point I would get used to this, but I'm just so dumb. All my, I don't have regular pants that don't have holes in them. Really? No, I need to buy new fucking pants. <laughs> I was just thinking the opposite. I was thinking I don't have any pants with holes in them and they look cool. <sighs> not too many holes though a little There's bit like is a, like hot. I don't mind a little bit yeah but when it's like the ones where it looks like literally someone just grabbed it and ripped down the pant leg no, I feel like you need to rip it down the pants leg because if you have small holes it just looks like, like you there's had some moths there yeah like you had proper <laughs> jeans and then you're like oh this bitch is poor yeah. <laughs> is that how my jeans look now no no because that looks get like get on the table yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> But it's the one where it's across and then it has a stretchy thing. Can we put the timer on, Paul? Yes. And it's Thank like you. it's a, it looks like it's supposed to be that. But you know how there's like just circle oh, holes. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, no, that's that's. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Where it's like, like a moth ate dude, it. that's some Ed Hardy shit from the nineties. <laughs> Relax, <laughs> my Ed Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> So, thank you, Zia, for returning to the podcast. Um, I always like to start the podcast off, Paco, by asking the best advice you have ever received. All right. Am I first? you are going to go first because she has already shared. She will share again. Ladies first. Ladies first. Yeah, okay. uh, Dude, this is going to be so gay, but uh, it's from Tumblr. So okay, it was like, okay. it's like, Tumblr. yeah, it's it uh, you know, when we were horned up teens, and, yeah, no, um, and Tumblr had free porn, yeah, it really did. It was, it was dope. <laughs> you were definitely great. Tumblr famous, that is without I, a doubt. No, I, I, I wouldn't say that. You're like, but, no, I just had like 20,000 followers and a bunch of reblogs, whatever. No, I didn't have that. I wanted, and then I was like, oh, this shit's whack. Um, <laughs> but it was uh, one of those things where it's like, uh, be the person your younger self needed. And I like that a lot because then it's just like, oh, like, you know, say things and do things that would inspire someone who's lost and has no self-identity. I like that. Yeah. And well, because when you get older, you do kind of have to take care of your your younger self. Yeah. Because it's still in there. Like, you still take all that baggage with you. Mm -hmm. And And then you also recognize other people who are going through things that you've gone through where you're just like, I don't want to push my ideas on them and such but you can like suggest and guide if they ask yeah exactly yeah well you're very inquisitive i feel like in life i don't know what that means <laughs> you always ask people how they feel about things like you're very you're always very interested in like what's going on with okay people. yeah 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 so i feel like that kind of lines up with that that the first inquisitive. thing inquisitive word of word of the day word of the day wow it's funny because I have another podcast with Justin Silver. He's the one with the good vocabulary there. So you he always has. Stuff. He always has the word so of the day. He's like rubbing Justin off right on. Now? I feel like Justin. <laughs> let me train some dogs right now. Holy shit! Let me fuck talk some like bitches. This. You're gonna talk like this, dude. Oh my god. Um, it's it, that advice immediately reminds me of. I don't know if you guys watch RuPaul's Drag Race. No, I haven't. But seen it. whenever it's like the final three or the final four, RuPaul takes a photo of whatever drag queen when they were like a kid when they were like four or five and and he goes like 
what do you have to say to little Tommy today? Mm. And then the drag queens are like bawling. And they're like, <laughs> bawling. <laughs> and I'm bawling. I'm in my bed, high as fuck. Your popcorn is everywhere. <laughs> and he's like, what do you have to say to little Tommy? He's like, Tommy, people aren't going to like you. Yeah. And because th- you're different. And that's okay. Look at Tommy. Look at Tommy and tell him. And it's like, and, and that's okay because you're special. And you're gonna and don't listen to what anyone says. But it's kind of like that. Like be that. Okay. That well, then advice. let's flip it on you because you okay. interview people. What would you? What advice would you give to younger Natalie? Uh, you got to stop caring what people think. <laughs> that's that's good advice for. Yeah, yeah I feel like that's I right know, now. You're talking to yourself. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, but just in general, for like, it's hard when you're in the in the. I guess I don't know social media world, whatever it is. Right. Like if you have any kind of following or if you're out, put out there in any sort of way, it's easy to get caught up in the shitty things that people say about you. But like you just have to realize that happens to literally every single person. That's, yeah. ev- that's everyone. You're not going to be... You're, it's just happening that. to you on like uh, an exponential level. Right. Because you have so many more eyes on you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it feels shitty, but it's not really a reflection of you. It's more of a reflection of the people that are talking shit about you. Well, yeah, it's not about you. Yeah. It's interesting. It is it something that I struggled with as a kid, though, is like caring what people think. So I feel like if I had dealt with it then. I Dude, I be... still struggle with that. I'm sure you do, too. Because like yeah, do. you have a lot of eyes on you, <laughs> you know. It's, but I and there are definitely times where I go through it and I'm like, oh, man, I feel so shitty because all these people have said like crappy. stuff. I stopped reading comments, too, because it just yeah. it I makes... still read comments. Oh, it's, so, it's like torture. You're just torturing yourself. Yeah. But then you're also. So the reason why I read comments is because like. I see certain things where I'm like, okay, if they're saying this and enough people say it, there could be some validity to this. So maybe it's something I can address or it's okay. something that I lean into because I'm like, no, that's who I am and you just don't understand it. Okay. That's yeah. that's a legitimate reason to read comments. I think on my own work I read comments, but if I go do something else, I'm probably not no, going no, to. No. Yeah. I had this feeling actually this morning I was driving and texting and scrolling as you do. All right. And... <laughs> Well, you have to in New York. There's so many red lights. You'll lose your mind if you don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like the way Paco's looking and at her. I'm waiting. Uh-huh. I'm waiting for you to convince me <laughs> of this potential danger. But keep going. I you saw know? like a photo of a comic that I think is doing well and that I look up to, and it was like a photo like something silly about them trolling them, and I was like. Do you think they even know this fucking exists? Do you think they even give a shit about this? Probably this not. isn't they're focused on their own goddamn shit. This is it's just kind of like that linear, like look ahead, do your own thing. And I feel like that 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 kind of thought like excited me of just kind of like going ahead, doing your thing. You know, it's honestly it's more empowering to do the dishes than read uh read the YouTube comments. Yeah. Get something done in your life. Mm-hmm. And then I... Oh, I don't ahead. feel that way No, at Paco's all. like, nope, I gotta sit here and read it. <laughs> no, I, I don't... I, when I do the dishes, I don't feel like... I just feel like I'm being Asian. <laughs> what? Yeah. No. I'm just like, uh, what else do you want me to do? Huh? <laughs> you want me to clean more shit? Huh? Thank you very much, you know? <laughs> Do you feel like it's just expected? Yeah, yeah, of course I should yeah. be doing the dishes. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's anything special. <laughs> but I get I get where you're going from because you're doing something productive to, you know, move no, your life funny. forward yeah, and yeah, such. Yeah. yeah, or like create new content or do whatever right. it is that you need to do. Like whatever it is that's going to be constructive to your life. Not yeah. sitting there and like feeling shitty for a while. Right. Because <laughs> there are some people like uh, who... Um, like, you know, you know, the, the five love languages, right? So like we receive and sometimes we give differently. Mm -hmm. So like for you to do certain things to love yourself, Mm. that's when you're like, okay, I feel like, you know, like acts of service. So we're like you cleaning the dishes and stuff. You're like, okay, I'm doing something progressive with my life. This is making me feel better Right. type of shit. So that could be it. Cause when I do the dishes, I don't, I don't care about acts of service really. My love language is not that, so doing that would not make myself feel better. Do you, okay. Does buying gifts for yourself do it? Is no, gifts? I'm no. not a gift person That's either. I'm not a language. girl. <laughs> Shots fired, bang bang. Um, How dare <laughs> you, you Paco? <laughs> Speaking of gifts, I mean, we're really jumping around here, but Paco actually helped me pick out Lewis's Christmas present, and I mean, it did was, he like it? He did like it, and he wears it every day. Hell yeah. Is well, he wearing it right it? now? 
It's a fucking, it's a really nice Canada Goose jacket. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've heard Canada Goose is really good, especially for winter when it's freezing. Mm-hmm. I need to get mm-hmm. one, actually. Yes, it is. It's really easy to shop for good gifts when it's someone else's money. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to get a gift for Lewis, I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> this is how much? Yeah, I really yeah. hope he likes Goodwill. Well, no, because he really <laughs> likes nice, high-quality things. So I got him a few, like, cute like monogram things that were like on the lower end of the budget but then the big gift was the can of goose jacket right. and Paco yeah. is like a style icon I wouldn't say what that. about for girls too yeah dress can, us can you make me look stylish uh, no, I'm stylish. really bad at it I, I am not good with that kind of stuff I know uh-uh. what I like I like plaid and I like weird pants but yeah, beyond I that I love your pants thank you I like my weird pants but, but besides that I've got no fucking idea what I'm doing I, I would have to be honest and say her outfit really just screams like Mall outfits. They are. You're yeah. absolutely right. I just go. They're all mall. I outfits. wish I had a sound drop for like shots fired. Right now. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just <laughs> being I honest. Mean, but that's Paco the thing. Is he's fucking, right. He came in and he's fucking <laughs> roasting us. I'm gonna go on Twitter and be like, "This motherfucker said I have mall outfits." <laughs> We're like, we don't care what people think. And Paco's like, "Oh, you don't care? No, yeah. You just came straight from the shitty ass Queen Center Mall, bitch. What'd you order that from? Shein? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I get so much stuff from there. <laughs> <laughs> so was I wrong? <laughs> no, and that's what I'm saying. I need to help. I'm so bad. I go to the mall and I shop for no, things. No, I like think that's, that's great. Yeah, you go to the mall, you buy clothes. Where else do people well, buy clothes? Well, of course you go to the mall. Hot Topic, I American like, Eagle. I like hot Topic. Thank I don't you very go to Hot much. Topic. So yeah, what's my what <laughs> roast me, Paco, in terms of clothing? Uh, no, no, I'm just saying like your outfits scream like Hot Topic, Spencer's Gifts. Really? Like middle school still listens to Linkin Park in the on the bus. I feel so attacked right now. <laughs> Am I like look at the outfit right now? No, ex boyfriend's t shirt and Levi's. That's it. Even okay, sorry, ex boyfriend, good Charlotte, you listen to, not Linkin Park. <laughs> 13 year old me is like, huh? <laughs> I like good what? Charlotte. So am I wrong? <laughs> Linkin Park's a little too dramatic. I like one or two songs, but I, I'll be honest, I was in the car listening to Linkin Park and I was like, I can't be this person. I like their first album, like Meteora was a good album. Mm. And then, but that was, that is when I was younger. I definitely, there are certain musics that I grew out of, but a lot of stuff right. that I always listen to, I still listen to. Like, that's still. I like their uh, collab with Jay Z. That, that, that was fun. That was sick. I I'm not aware. That was it's fun. Okay, it's I fine. It. Good it's Charlie. weird because this shirt, it's actually a bit small and it's like very fitting. It is. And yeah. It, it really is my ex's shirt. And he was not small. Did he so wear it? A lot? He used to wear it. I Wait, what does it say, <laughs> it though? It says Satan's. Sluts and speed. I like it. I feel like a girl would wear that. I couldn't see a guy wearing that. I mean, I stole this a couple years, three or years. My feeling is when I feel things going south in a relationship, I go, all right, I got to start taking what's mine. I got to start taking <laughs> You got to get your 50%. <laughs> no, I mean, you got to start finding the clothes. You, you got to start. Get, you lost a lot of time. You got to start getting some clothes. <laughs> You this was... is this is you saying, yo, I spent a lot of time on this. You got to pay me back. <laughs> I got to get Some something way. out yeah. of this. These are some year. of the best years of my life. <laughs> like I my... feel like anytime you date when you're in your 20s, you're like, these are my good years. I don't. You don't want to waste them on an asshole. And then when you do, that's the advice I would give to my younger self. Don't fucking marry that guitar playing jackass. What are you did thinking? You yes, <gasps> I did. I was married once before for oh, no. six days. Six days? <laughs> well, see, yeah, tell us. That's such a good like, story. Tell us. It was like a celebrity. It was like a celebrity marriage. It was one of those. It was just this guy. So I met him when I was 16. And he started playing guitar with my dad and my dad's band. It was like this rock band. That's hot. So, of course, yeah, of course I went for the fucking hey, older daddy. guitar player. Yeah. How like, old was he? It was like 23 or and something. And you were 16? Yeah, it was really gross, actually. Now that I look back on it. That's not gross. What? That's super hot, how old dude. Was, how, old was, <laughs> how old was your dad? at the time um, 24 24 yes he had me when he was 8 uh, how old was my dad that's cause 40 dad fucking probably 40 or something like that wait why is your dad hanging out with a 23 year old because my dad is just like that did I tell you guys he's, he's a married? young spirit he is he's married to a girl I went to high school with no. she's 2 years younger than me what <laughs> yes yo wait so your dad married a young chick and then yes. your ex-husband was like yo he did it I can do it too he did it he did it after, after. I, I was I after that yeah yeah yes. yeah that was after he met he met her when I was like already in my twenties. So tell us the story. So basically, I just and I think I was legitimately doing it to probably piss my dad off. It's mm. a good thing I got through my daddy issue phase. Jesus Christ. Um, 
I and so I started dating and I we don't we did not have anything in common but you don't think about that when you're 16. I mean I played drums and so the only thing that we had in common really was music and that was it. Mm -hmm. And then she we sang so together cool. she for plays drums. <laughs> I don't anymore. I'd probably suck so bad if I tried. Oh god. It's been so long. Um but yeah, I I we definitely should have broken up instead of getting married, but it was one of those weird things where like I wanted to go to college but I couldn't get financial aid that were like unsubsidized loans or some bullshit because I was still dependent on my dad, but he wasn't paying for the school. It was like this whole thing. And one of the things you could do was get married. And so I was like, all right, let's do that. And then my family found out and they're like, you have to have a wedding. You And I was like, no, I just want to elope. And they're like, no, 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 you have, you guys, you guys can't go off and get married. You have to have a wedding. So they like. Your dad would say that because he's like, you guys also need a wedding band. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know a totally cool guy who's 40. <laughs> He could rock out. Us. You know, we'll give you a discount. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Thanks, Dad. Because <laughs> you didn't spend any money on college, so you got to spend it somewhere. Yeah, right? bad. on the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Weddings are such a fucking waste of money, too. When, I, when Nick and I got married, we also didn't have a wedding. And oh, I okay. did not make the mistake of telling anyone. I was like, fuck all of you. We we're eloping and no one's saying anything. Uh, so we ended up having this wedding and I we wanted I wanted to break up so bad before we had the wedding, but I felt obligated to have it because everybody paid for it already. Cause I was like, I don't have money. I'm fucking twenty. Wedding I'm not dress paying for this. Yeah, wedding dress. <gasps> it was really pretty. Just kidding. Was I really like how you're like getting hyped about this, but she hated it. You're <laughs> it like, horrible. but but <laughs> you're trying to live through her <laughs> past. Really She's really like, hard. I fucking hated it. It was a nightmare, and you're like, but it was a cool nightmare. You had a great dress in it, right? It hard. The dress was really beautiful, though. Oh, like it was a really nice okay, dress. Okay, I have a question. When yes. you guys have wedding dresses, are are you guys gonna go sleeveless or with sleeves? Oh, she's already married. Um, oh yeah, fuck. I had a well, for your third one. No sleeves. My third one <laughs> definitely strapless. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I. I don't want my arms to look fat. You, your arms couldn't Bruh. look fat if you gained twenty pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is okay. So, like, this is my thing. Like, the uh, the two things that I'm attracted for girls is like their cheeks and then their arms. What yeah. about their cheeks? Like, I like uh, not like fat cheeks, but like round cheeks. That always makes me feel better because I have such chubby cheeks. Nick no, likes them don't. too. Yes, I do. I have little. Look at them. Little See, but that like you have good cheeks, not fat cheeks. You that know makes what I mean? Me feel better. Thank yeah, you. you have great cheeks. Yeah, and then the Thank arms. <laughs> arms are like. Because arms can, this is gonna, be, this is messed up a lot, but arms uh, is a good indicator of what their health is like and what their body is like. So, like thin arms, or me. yeah, let's rate arms. You, you're basically not fat. You take care of Look yourself, at that. right? So skinny. Yeah. yeah, you are. Yeah, you're. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah, they need some muscle. <laughs> yeah, sure. Not too much though. Just a little bit. Yeah. Like some some definition, you know. I some need tone. a personal trainer. I used to do that. She's perfect. She's perfect. <laughs> do you want? If you want to work out sometime, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what? If this marriage doesn't work out, right there. <laughs> Natalie, all right. Yes. Yeah. Lewis will be fine with it, right? He will. He'll I'm pretty sure. He will, I mean, actually. he won't be included. No, he can just be. He'll be your boyfriend on the side, <laughs> yes. but we'll be married. Yes. He'll be your side ting. Yeah. Yes. 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 I like this. Wait, so is there more to the story? No, that was pretty much it. We got married and then literally, I think it was like two days later, I fucking stayed with some other dude and he like had, he spent Valentine's Day with some other girl. I... It was. What? Yeah, we should not have been together. We both were like not in it at all. And then that we were like, That was a like, toxic oh, relationship. That says. was toxic as fuck. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes. It was horrible. Wait, did you get an annulment? No, because they already had sent it in. We had to get an actual divorce. <gasps> I want to get married. Which we only for did the like, divorce? Just no, for the divorce? No, just for the fun. See, she's looking at all I like want, the. <laughs> I want like a nice life. I want to be married with kids. With like a white picket fence? Do you want that? Like with the house and the. It doesn't seem like you want the white picket fence. I mean, I don't really care about a white picket I can't picture a white picket then fence. Then don't say yes if you're like, because, whatever. Yeah, I feel like that's part of it. But I just want a house. It doesn't have to have a white picket fence. It can have a chain link fence like I have right now. Uh huh. Which doesn't really sound cute. How many kids do you want? Just. One in a couple years. One is good. Just one? Maybe two. I was an only child, and I was like, it's fucked up to have one kid. Yeah. And they're all alone. Exactly. Like, it's different with James because he has his cousin, and he can play with his cousin. Like, it's like he has a sister. And they're together yeah. all the time, pretty much. And they're much. the same yeah. age. They're always together. <laughs> it's fine. But if he didn't have his cousin, that would suck for him. It would, yeah. Because, like, I know, like, people who... It's very rare that you find an only child that came out good Hello. with great social skills. Hello. That's why I said rare. I didn't say impossible. <laughs> That's why I said rare. I didn't say impossible. All right. 
I really fine. I am a rarity. Yeah. Yeah. That is actually true. It's like homeschooled kids who come out like that. Like homeschool kids are usually fucking weird. Because they can't. Homeschool kids mm-hmm. are weird. Yeah, they just don't have any social skills. They don't know how also, to. Also, super religious kids. Also true. Very yes. lack of social skills. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because they they're so sheltered, they they think oh life is supposed to be a certain. I'm, I'm projecting right now. Life is supposed <laughs> oh, no. to be a certain way. Are you? Were you? Grow, did Dude, you grow my up dad really was a pastor. Oh shit! <laughs> really? On Oahu? Yeah. Wow. Wait, are you guys both from Hawaii? Yeah, we are. Yeah. I'm from a different <laughs> island, but we're both. And I found that out. I got really excited. I was like, what? <laughs> That's why we became best friends. Yeah, immediately. Yeah. We're like, guys, how is it, bro? Don't let me feel like a third wheel here. Let me become an honorary Hawaiian. All right. Okay. So there's this thing called the shaka. All right. So you see, like, a lot of, like, surfers from Cali or skaters will do this now. Yeah. Fighters, too. Fighters do it all the time. Yeah, and they're, like, doing this. And it's kind of, like, just a sign of, like, uh, like, like almost, like, Aloha, love and respect greetings. and just, like, relaxation type mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. Um, but in Hawaii, it's it's a, you can tell who is a local and who isn't Based just from what? their shaka. Love that and the way they try shaka. to speak pigeon. Have you yeah. ever heard a Howie guy, like, go to the, ma- I mean, go to the Hawaii and try to, like, Talk pigeon. It's and it really sounds, bad. It sounds really like, like <laughs> this, like force. <laughs> yeah, it sounds fucking horrible. Yeah, Howley is a it, the original term in Hawaii is foreigner or like ha is breath and I it's think, without breath. Yeah, right? without because breath. they don't they don't um or they didn't like when white people first went there they didn't greet Hawaiians the same way they like shook hands instead mm-hmm. of doing like this. Yeah, because like big... you would breathe each other's <laughs> breath or yeah. something, right? Yeah, so, like, like if this your... is the other person, like, in Hawaii, like, they would, like, almost, like, touch foreheads. Or, and then just, like, breathe each other's breath gross. in. Because then it's, like, you're with each other type of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, so ha is breath. Ole is without. So it's ha- ha- haoli. Yeah. <laughs> without breath because they, like, shook hands and, mm-hmm. and they didn't do that sort of thing. So, basically, it's just now it's just a term for a white person, though. Yeah. So, it's, like, it was, like, foreigner, but now it's just, like, almost, like, a negative connotation. For yeah. like white people. So what's the word? So uh howley. Is that me? That's you would be a howley that you're yeah. Paul. There. Paul be super howley. <laughs> They're calling us howley, Paul. <laughs> uh uh, not me. I got called howley. I was like, Oh, the Howley girls. That's the, the Howley friend. Yeah. Like, oh your friend oh yeah, the Howley girl. Like that like, was how she looks now, she would be. But yeah, if she had a tan maybe. Well, Hold on. What I if will... she had a little flower in I'm her I'm gonna show you guys my even more so <laughs> they would be like, Why are you trying so hard to be us? I'm going to show you guys a picture of my sister because it's not fair how she looks versus how I look. She looks like just like our mom. The only way she would get away with it, and this is why it's another thing. Oh, yeah, she looks pretty Hawaiian. We have the same mom and the same dad. I just look like my dad. Doesn't look like you. <laughs> no. Yeah. We look nothing alike. So, like, another way to be like, I'm from the place is, like, how you shaka. Yeah. So, like, the ti- so this is the way it is. The tighter it is. The more foreign you are. That's what she said, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. So you're like a Hawaii virgin the tighter you are. <laughs> That's a good analogy, actually. Like, the tighter your shaka is, like, the less aloha you have in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. So wow. you got to get fucked by the aloha enough. Because then, like, you'll see, like, the super mook, which is in oh, Hawaii. It's like a mook. It's like an Italian mook, but... For Hawaiian people. Yeah, so Moki is like someone who's like just super Hawaiian, laid back, speaks pigeon only, really. Rubba their shaka, their <laughs> shaka the is, this is how they throw it. They're just, oh. it's like not <laughs> even touching. The, the fingers are out like that. Yeah. Oh, like, eh. to this. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's just like your so hand, you still see the shaka. I go like this. But see how your fingers are like this? Yeah, so it's like you're this? trying. It's, it's almost, almost. It's hard, almost but like not. It's like a valley, really. It's still hard though. It's like stop. What's up, bra? Zia, what's the best advice you've ever received? Um, part two. Part two. Part two. <laughs> so the second advice, and I was thinking about this last night, and this I got this advice pertaining to exercise and working out, like healthy and stuff. Yes. But you can apply it, I think, to anything. Okay. It's uh, build habits because motivation does not last forever. Motivation comes and it goes, but if you make it a habit, then it'll be something that you continue to do even when you're not motivated. So th- I feel like you could use that anywhere. That is so true. Can I can I add to that? Yes. Because this is something that I thought about as a, as a person yes. where um, motivation without action is just a good feeling gone to waste. Oh, my God. Yeah. Holy shit. I've never heard that. That's amazing. That, I made that up. This oh, my God. Just now? First, no, no, no. This is what I'm on the show. Paul. This is what I made. First fist bump on the show. Tumblr time. Episode 22. Oh, first fist bump. <laughs> 
Tumblr times. <laughs> yeah, during my Tumblr times, I was like trying to be like introspective and shit. And I was like, because I, I love motivation. I would constantly yes. just watch motivational videos, but I would do nothing with it. Motivation yeah. without action is just a good fucking feeling. And it's true. Gone to waste. Gone to waste. Exactly. It's so true. Yeah, that's really Holy sad. R.I.P. Like, good feeling. When I feel, I, instead of live, laugh, love, which by the way, I'd fucking kill myself before I have that anywhere in my house. But instead of that, I want that quote like up on my wall. <laughs> People would be like, what's this? I'll Take like, credit for it. I'll like, just I thought about I... this during my Tumblr times. <laughs> <laughs> I it's crazy because I feel like oh my god I like have gotten into this really good ritual and like of cleaning at a certain time but I was on the road this weekend and well like I didn't sleep there though I just drove four hours every night the last four like oh jeez and so it really it threw off my wait four there and then four back two and two okay but it really it like threw off my habits so now I'm like putting it back together like today I'm gonna like catch up on everything but You're gonna it's wash true. dishes and feel good about yourself yeah <sighs> unfortunately it's not gonna be feel good about yourself but yeah i'm gonna wash the fucking dishes <laughs> when do they're the done when they're done you'll feel good about yourself it's so funny because like i i used to expect like when the dishes are done whenever a house is clean dishes are done i i would expect like a like oh my god babe it looks amazing in here yeah but instead it's like yeah, this is what it should it's look a, like. Yeah, it's yeah. Expect- <laughs> like this is expected. This, yeah. yeah, that's mad Asian. <laughs> of course, this that's is what it should look like. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. So wait, um, going back to it, love languages mm-hmm. is uh, would yours be like words of affirmation? Then mm-hmm. because you want to hear that. That Are yours words 100% of affirmation? One hundred percent words of affirmation. I think mine is physical affection and quality time. Quality time. Okay, because usually physical you receive you time, receive yeah. in two. Yeah. Yeah. I think physical affection and quality time. Like I'm very very affectionate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my dad was really affectionate. Like mm-hmm. he showed us a lot of affection. I think yeah. after our mom died, he was really sad. So he like get showered. So like I, I'm also very affectionate. It's funny because I'm with someone who is the exact opposite. Really, he does not like physical affection at all. Huh. He did not have a good childhood, <laughs> and so yeah. So it's and it's an interesting balance to try to find. His I feel like is is uh, acts of service. Oh, mm-hmm. like I feel like when you do things that show that you care, and that's how he is too. He likes to show that he cares instead of like saying it. So, because I think, um, because the way you receive and the way you give can be different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I think with yours, like, the way you give sounds like acts of service. It is. But in return, you want to hear, like, words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. That makes sense. And quality time is super Mm -hmm. important. Yeah. What is your, how do you receive? Uh, When I took the test, it was like a physical touch words of affirmation were like super high and everything else was at twos <laughs> and i realized i was like oh dude that's just because i'm an insecure horny person oh. no it's true like i'm 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 always gonna be super upfront and honest with who i am and that's just what i was like i was a super i was just like oh, i just want girls to touch me and, and tell me like they like me which is not different now. Well, but, that way. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people feel that way. Yeah, that's not that uh, crazy. No, no, no. But like, I mean, yeah, but some people don't need to necessarily hear it. Right. They yeah. don't need to hear that they are, that someone likes them all the time. Like mm-hmm. being with them is enough. Yeah, exactly. Or the so action weird. I don't know why I like to hear it, even though it's uh, it's obvious. I think mm-hmm. I don't know why. I mean, it, you can always look back as a kid. Like, did you not receive that from your parents? So it's something you wanted. Oh, she's going back, dude. You saw her. <laughs> I know. Her eyes she just did the deep. That's So Raven. She went, oh. She was like looking at I her love childhood. That so, Raven. <laughs> As, so we're going to go into your life now. Into. With your relationship with your family, was it, was it almost expected of you that uh, for you to clean up or just to do well in school? And like everything was acknowledged in my family. Everything is always acknowledged. So it's like if I took the if my mom took the garbage out, I'd be like, oh, mom, thanks for taking the garbage out. If I did the dishes, oh, I acknowledge that you did the dishes. Everything was always acknowledged. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ah. in that way, it's be uh, it's not because you had a lack of it. It was learned exactly, or like it wasn't like it wasn't because oh, it's special that you did this. It was just like we just acknowledge everything. To show appreciation, what we that's just like it was a verbal household. Yeah, so you can get used to that. That's why. So it's familiarity now. And I think my parents, they were, that, wa- that, was the, that was the form of, like, validation I received as a kid from my parents. Yeah. was verbal. And so now it's different. You don't get it. No, I get it. Well, I mean, like, you seek it, you know? Like, but, but that, see, now going back to the, the, the first thing you said in the podcast. Which is what? Which is not caring about what other people think. I don't care what other people think. <laughs> 
definitely sounds like it. <laughs> I watched a TikTok today about giving yourself the affirmation. <laughs> All right. So I what's that your... too, where you look in the mirror? Sorry, you're like you're supposed to look in the mirror and like tell yourself positive yeah. stuff, and they're like, it feels really silly, but keep doing it because oh, it feels so silly, so ridiculous. All right. So tell your tell yourself. <laughs> Your affirmations of today. I want to hear your guys' affirmations. Oh, no, no, no. I can't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is a perfect time. It's called help, right? So you're helping yourself. No, no, no. This is too personal. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's like watching yourself. Like I literally, I talked to Mike. I did Mike McEwen's podcast yesterday. We talked about affirmations. And he was saying that he listens to... Uh, with someone else say them, mm. or he listens to a recording of him saying, them. "Oh, that sounds better. and that. that sounds way better." Because I better. fucking can't. I've had so many therapists tell me to like, not so many. <laughs> I've had <laughs> therapists tell me like, like you need to do it. Like, look in the mirror and say whatever the fuck. And I'm yeah. like, no, that's not what I will be doing today. <laughs> Have you tried it at least? No. I'm not doing that. Yeah, but you don't know if it will Imagine, work. Imagine like Lewis and came home and I'm in the I'm looking in the mirror being like, "You are awesome." <laughs> He'd be like, <laughs> "Well, that's why don't do it at home. Do it in your rear view mirror where it's just you Can in I the get car." In an accident, a cop comes. No, I'm not saying while you're driving. <laughs> and I'm like, "You are awesome." <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> "You he's are like, in you. a car accident." <laughs> You're still scrolling and like on Instagram. And yeah, as you're driving. I'm like, you are. All... <laughs> Guys, I, man, before because you know we're half an hour through, I want to oh, talk wow. about something that that you guys I feel are both are pretty well versed in, and it's something that I started doing recently. Um, I started streaming on Twitch this week. Congratulations. Welcome to the cult, I guess. Pretty much. It yeah. does feel like a cult. So <laughs> my boyfriend, Lewis, uh, he streams on Twitch. And a lot of the time, he streams a lot on Twitch. And the, the streaming room is across from our bedroom. And he's quite loud. So, And he quite often says, babe, get me this, get me that. So I quite, quite often go in there and I wind up playing games. Mm -hmm. And I have fun. I was like, this is fun. It is. I want to do this. So that and I feel like we go on Twitch together on his stream and I was like, this is a lot of fun. I'm interacting with the people on his stream and I was like, I want to stream myself. This is a lot of fun. I like playing these games. I'm kind of bad at them, but this is fun. I like chatting. I have a following. Let's fucking go. He's like, mm -hmm. I'll help you set it up. He helped me set up with his old Xbox. He got a PS5. I was able to convince him to ha give me like a little corner of the of this room for my little stream streaming corner. So I set it up. I've done three two and a half hour streams. Yay! That's pretty good. That is good. Yeah, feel pretty good about it. I'm an affiliate. That's that's amazing. That's awesome. Like getting affiliate super quick. That's pretty good. Don't you? <laughs> I, was, I was about to Paco, be honest, Paco. I know Paco. you only need to have three people watching. I remember you only need to have three people watching. I was like three or four. Yeah, but you have to. It's like a certain amount of time. You have to th have three or more people watching at on average at any time. There was a checklist. There, yeah. there was a checklist. Don't of it. undermine my accomplishment. But I'm it doesn't not. matter. It's still I'm awesome. There is honest. a guy. Most no, most people get on and stream and never reach affiliate. I mean, yeah, that's true. It's like you don't care that I'm an affiliate. <laughs> Whoa, it's not that I don't. It's care. like you don't care that I maxed out a level five hype train on my first fucking stream. Okay, oh, hell yeah, level All five right. hype train. That's, I mean, that's that's really what, good. What do I have five moderators already? Yeah, do they love me? Yes. That's not something to brag about, but. No, that's good. <laughs> look at her, look at her voice. Look at her voice. You know she don't believe, she don't believe that. She don't believe that. No, you I just like said having it. moderators. It makes me feel cool. All right. Well, regardless, I'm here. I'm on Twitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. But one thing is this. like, So I, I grew up in a way that other people didn't in the sense that I did not have – like people are – Lewis is constantly like, how have you not seen this movie? James is constantly like, how have you not seen this movie? Because my parents, like, we had one TV. It was in my dad's room. And my parents were not together, but we lived together. So who was in my dad's room? My dad, okay? Mm -hmm. I didn't watch TV ever. Unless okay. it was, like, before bed, I would watch, like, uh, Craig Ferguson with him. Or I would Aww. watch te Celebrity Texas Hold'em. That was it, okay? Interesting. So that's the only things I watched on TV. Or I'd watch The Office on my computer. I didn't watch TV and I wasn't allowed to play video games. So I am starting from zero. And all the movies I've watched have been in relationships where guys have been like, you haven't seen Batman. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
sounds like a dude so hard. It as, really does. As an accurate representation. <laughs> Every dude who finds yeah. out someone hasn't seen a movie. What the fuck? You haven't seen Lethal Weapon 1 through 4? The, We're going to watch the, all the of it movie, right now. Yeah, I mean, the, the Halloween movies I had to watch this year, it was crazy. I mean, I watched a lot of, I've watched a lot. I've caught up. The mm. point is, I don't know how to, uh, this is like my introduction to video games. The remote, the remote is a foreign ent- entity to me. The controller. Oh, the yeah. controller, yeah. The controller. See, she called it a remote. Uh, yeah, that's I was how you like, know. Huh? I was like, that's adorable. She said remote. In ninth grade, my friends had Game Boys. So one of them gave me an old Game Boy. We were playing a little Pokemon. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I brought it oh, home. Yeah. My dad was like, no. Oh, man. No oh, Game wow. Boy. No Game Boy. We, I couldn't play. I wasn't allowed. Can I, so what? Did you grow up on? Because you were, you said you're an only child, right? Mm-hmm. So did you just have like imaginary friends? Choo Choo and Choo Choo did have a polka dotted um, punch buggy. However, who the fuck is this real? They're my imaginary friends, but oh, we're shit. going to chill. <laughs> what are their What are their names again? Choo Choo and Choo Choo, but we're going to get Tutu. over that, and it's going to be fine. It was just when I was a child. When I got older, when's the last time you spoke to them? A, a long time ago. They're fine, and they drove away a while ago. <laughs> They left me here. But um, I actually asked James recently. We were in the car because we drive a lot. And I was like, do you have imaginary friends? He's like, what do you mean? (laughs) Okay, so that's what I'm wondering. Imaginary friends. Like, do you have, have you ever had like an imaginary friend? He's like, what do you mean imaginary? And I'm like, like when I was a kid, I had imaginary friends. My mom had imaginary friends, like friends that aren't real, but you hang out with. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I was wondering that because you always hear about that, like imaginary friends are a thing. Did you ever have imaginary friends, Paco, when you were a kid? Okay, I didn't either, but I don't know if it's just because I had a like I had a really big family, so I had a lot of cousins I hung I out with. I hate everyone. <laughs> Sorry, Natalie. Dude, no, no, no. I think because you're Paul. Did you have imaginary friends? Please, please, please. I did not. No. <laughs> Paco is crying. <laughs> He's listening. Dude. It's so funny. It's just really, they, they were really nice, and they had a nice car. But anyway. That's important in friends. They were sweet, and yeah. they drove away when I was young, so it wasn't weird or anything. But um, I read a lot of books. Ooh, okay. That's cool, though. I read though. a lot of books. I, mm-hmm. My dad, he was an English teacher, and he was a writer, So, and I thought I really looked up to him my whole child, like my whole high school and middle school. So I was I read a lot, and, I, and it was very much, like I... I was a bitch to my mom when I was growing up, and I was like, Mom, have you ever even read Crime and Punishment? I don't respect you. Do you even know who Tolstoy is? I don't respect you. And then your mom's like, watch, I'm not going to let you watch Batman. So when you date a dude, he's going to be pissed at you. My mom's like, I, my mom never let me watch Disney movies because she didn't want me to have like a princess complex. She didn't want me to like look for a man. I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I'm not. I'm going to be honest with you because those Disney movies, I, I watched all of them. But I feel like we ba- we balance it out because I also watched all the Miyazaki movies. Princess Mononoke, okay. My Neighbor yeah, Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. I know. So them dark all shit. Last year. Yes, those are the I best. I love those. Holy shit! But right? I love that your mom was like, but, I'm not going to let her watch Disney, so she doesn't feel like she needs a man because her dad ain't shit. <laughs> Your dad <laughs> fucked me over. We still live in the same goddamn house. He won't even let me watch the TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no Keeps it in his room. Yeah. No I'm stuck playing Candy Crush. I'm on level 5,678. And it's been three days. <laughs> But I think that's a good thing. Like, Farmville. Disney movies yeah. are fucking... I'm getting Farmville. my crops up, bitch. <laughs> so, regardless, here I am. I really... So, the first stream I did on Twitch... Um, this is really intense what happened. Everything was fine. We had set up the room downstairs. Everything was good. And I said, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to stream. I go to plug in. We have one of these beautiful. Lewis has it. It's a supercharger for your phone. You charge your phone like two seconds. Oh, sick. Ooh. I go to plug it in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a spark and everything goes dark. And Natalie blows a fuse. <gasps> she blows a fuse. The whole bottom floor of our house, no electricity. So that was really pleasant. And that's where the internet is. So no internet. So that happened. That got in our way. It's fine. It was all fixed. Everything was fine. But I said, okay, whatever. Next morning, I decide to (laughs) stream (laughs) with no video games. And it was just me chatting. And I made Lewis breakfast on the stream. And I chatted. I had fun. It was a really good stream of just like chatting. And I had a good time. That was the most successful stream. Then I did two streams yesterday actually playing video games. I played Red Dead Redemption 
and I played Sonic, and I played Kingdom Hearts, and I played Fortnite. Nice. Now, let me tell you something. On Lewis's stream, I've played Fortnite, and I've played Ghost of Tsushima, which I actually really thought was okay. The problem is I haven't done tutorials on a lot of games. The problem is I don't understand how to play anything. The problem is my friend Ray, who he's really good with games, he's like, Natalie, people don't want to see you learn. Roots? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, right? I love him. Yeah. So he's like, people don't want to see you learn. You should learn off the stream and then come back and be good at it. There are enough girls that are good at gaming that, like, if you're not good at gaming, don't game on Twitch. Anyway, I need some advice about what to do on Twitch. I have a video of how bad I am at Sonic, but I'm having fun. Paul, will you pull it up? Sonic and I also need some fun. help knowing what the controllers mean. All right, here. This is a fun video. And <laughs> I'm really just hopping you around. Know what? It's just so joyous, you guys. Woo! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, but I guess it's for children. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, you can't see me in the corner, which is the yeah. best part of the whole video. <sighs> do you have a PC that you can do any PC gaming on, or are you just strictly doing console? I would say <laughs> console. Console, okay. I'm not opposed to Ray. He's like my best friend. Uh huh. Goots. He runs my show at the Tiny Cupboard a lot of the time. Um, he is like, you should get a Switch. You should get a Nintendo Switch, mm -hmm. and those are the games that you should be playing. Like, you should be playing Zelda. You should be playing Lego Harry Potter. That's the <gasps> stuff that you would like. Yes. I just, I, I, I'm not, I'm not having fun playing games. I don't know if it's because there are no dabs around. I don't know if it's because I'm not high enough. I don't know. I'm really last night in Fortnite. I had a. I came in before you came in. <laughs> before I got I there, was doing I ruined so it. bad. No, no, no. It, it, I, I was really like I might. I got ninth and tenth. I had a fun little one off with someone, but I, I just don't understand how to use it. Can you pull up the picture of the the controller, please? The remote. Remote. <laughs> I don't know what what, it, what any of the buttons mean, and and I think people are gonna get tired of me not knowing what anything means. What do the buttons? I'm not trying to like play dumb, because people are gonna be like, "Oh, she thinks she's stupid." No, no, no. What are the? F I'm really struggling here. What do the goddamn buttons do? You know what? As a female, I think you should take the lead. I should take the lead on yeah. this one. I, I do. I'm gonna be honest with you. I use mostly mouse and keyboard. Mm -hmm. WSD is my shit, especially first person shooters. I cannot play first person shooters with a fucking controller. It's so hard. Even some third person games. I played all of Valheim with the mouse and keyboard. I just feel so much more comfortable there. But uh, with the controller, typically, it's, it depends on the game, but for the most part, A, uh, B is back. A is usually to select things. You can attack with A. Sometimes you can attack with the triggers or the bumpers. Mm -hmm. um, the joysticks are how you move and walk around. It's so hard. The camera and the lefty thing. Yeah. Why? Why? Use Why can't I just use the lefty thing? Because then your camera would be, you would just be focused on Why can't on it be automatic, though, in? and, like, go with me? Because then that's less control that you have. Right. I don't you can't want look control. Around. I just want to play a game and chat. Yeah, that's because you're casually playing. But most people want an advanced version so that they can maximize on what they control yay so that's why i think uh you should look towards simplistic games where you can use your voice and your personality and your perspective to keep an audience engaged uh computer is also good because then it's like the, the controls are basically they have to make it in a way where it applies to every game mm -hmm. so there's a just a universal language of like ever and reference point where everyone's like okay this is all I need to do for pretty much all the video games on computer. Um, but what I think would be best is because you're not good at video games. Excuse find me? out. Be, did I stutter? <laughs> because you suck dick at video games because you're just starting at the age of 27 because you were robbed of a Game Boy at a young age. Um, I think you should That's find so out. Intense. <laughs> I think you should find out what you really enjoy, mm. because when you really- Off screen? Yeah, off screen. No, I can't waste my time playing games off no, screen. No, 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 no. I'm not saying video games. <laughs> what do you actually enjoy? Because- What when, do I enjoy? Yeah, when people- Sleeping and cuddling. Ooh, that- Dude. You know what? There are sleep streams where exactly. people make so much fucking money. Exactly. Like, a lot. But when you do something you truly enjoy- Cuddling. Your aura- emits that out and like people can see it on you mm, and yeah. it's more captivating as an audience member because it's like mm. you actually care about what you're doing mm. and it's not fake it's genuine can you pull up 
are you? Can, do you have my Twitch up? Can you pull up a clip, from one of the beginning highlight clips? Because then, like, people see you enjoying it, and then they reciprocate what they see. Okay. It's almost like a mirror, you know? And you don't have to play games on Twitch. Exactly. Plenty of girls don't. I mean, I stream. I have a snack stream. I, I have a workout that. stream, and I have, have a, a gaming stream. stream. Yeah, because I have to work out all the snacks I eat after... I can't say words. I have to work off all the snacks I ate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is basically what I'm saying. You can do anything. You could do cooking streams, like you were saying. You made Lewis breakfast. Like whatever you enjoy doing, stream that. And How often will... do you go out? Oh yeah, IRL go streams are big. Where? Like just anywhere, because there there's this thing called IRL streams, which is in real life. So do it on my phone. You mean exactly? Yeah. So some some people, uh, like in Asia, because the internet there is so good. Like, they're able to just do it off their phones. So go grocery shopping. Like, I go grocery yeah, shopping. Yeah, you could do grocery shopping and be like, we're going to be shopping. Oh, you could. It's like a pre-stream to the cooking. Yeah. So we're getting all these groceries. We're doing all this. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, could I do a driving stream? Mm, it's not suggested. I feel like you could maybe get in trouble for that. Yeah, right? I've done. So when I used to drive from Vegas to California, I would do driving streams. Yeah, it's a long drive. Because that's four hours. Did yeah, you move to Vegas first? Uh, no, I was in L.A. Oh, and then okay. I went to Vegas. Everybody yeah. from Hawaii moves to Vegas. It is, it is a thing. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Close. Yeah. Closer. Yes. But it's not, you're not fucking you know, casting a Harry young. Potter spell or People something. People comment on my video like, oh, she didn't wear makeup. No, no, no. It's the lighting in here. It makes me look like Wallace from Wallace A little bit, yeah. Uh, blame Paul for that. You no, know, it's he not, should it's know. not Paul. No, let's blame Paul it's because Paul he got because... first place in the Winter Olympics, so he should know. No, it's not Paul. Also, it's, Paul, it's, thanks a lot for telling me my hair looks like shit, dude. Thanks, man. Guys, Paul, can I see my Twitch? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> no, not this one. I don't think this Changing one's good. Preferences. This, uh, this one's not. This is not the one. This is not the one, Paul, because she's she gets a little confused here. Let's do maybe <laughs> like a <laughs> hype train <laughs> one. Enable clip. Okay, maybe one that's a little more fun than the <laughs> maybe a little. Maybe something a little more. It's real. It's real. It's real stuff. You really get to hang out. Yeah. Maybe maybe one that's like. So uh, that's why if you do shit, you actually enjoy. Like if you don't you like video it. games, don't force yourself to play. I would do a cleaning stream, but Lewis is like, don't show everything Too much, in our yeah. house. Yeah. And so I'm like. Because I wound up showing, I showed the vacuum, I showed the kitchen, I showed the living room. He's like, hey, are you doing freaking apartment tours here? Yeah. I'm not trying to, but I like to say, hey, like, be my little buddy and I'll take you everywhere. Then, so that's even better of doing the phone stuff yeah, outside. Yeah, well, yeah. Because, like, if you take your dog on a walk, you know? You, they, you think they'll like my dog? I, I just... I mean, people enjoy that, but also, like, just the fact that you're outside doing something, it's already different. With them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do, like, urban exploring. They said they don't like phone streams. They do? People are going to say they don't like... People say, oh, I fucking hate gas digital, and then they watch everything. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, can you pull up the hype train one? That's true. You, you see that to. a lot. People that watch stuff, and then they just comment how much they hate it. Like, yeah. why are you still watching, dummy? Like, they'll that. be like, oh, why are you playing this game still? It's been four hours. And you're like... You've been here the whole time. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I hear myself singing like a child. That's no, cute. That's it says you're having fun. That's your imaginary friends, actually. We don't hear anything. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not seeing anything labeled hype train. What about? Wait, can I see the thing? Can I see the screen? Yeah, one second. Yeah. Have you been making clips, or have your like mods and stuff been my, my nice. mods? Nice. I haven't made a single clip. Why? Because everyone's amazing on my Twitch stream. It's a fun little community. Mm -hmm. That's the best that's, part about it. That's basically her okay. saying she Go doesn't to know popular, how. Popular popular clips. They didn't have their masks on. They're drinking. They're vaping. Um. Okay. <laughs> what I thought was me singing was actually Shannon. Oh, maxed out nice. hype train probably. Maxed out hype train. Yeah. Where is that? Top left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had a yeah? G60 S plus whatever the fuck that shit is. Final level. Keep going till the clock runs out. Let's fucking go. Time. No one told me there was no level six. Max the fuck out. Hype fucking train. Everyone needs therapy, but I'm gonna fucking hype train. Talk to my therapist right now. Just turn streaming. Max out hype train, baby. Hey, have you ever got a max out hype train? <laughs> 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 So I think I just like to chat is way more fun. Then do that. Yeah, there are so many just chatting streamers. Exactly, and, that's and it's all they 
you, like, can um, I tell you something else that's like I don't want to be shitty, but so I put on my Instagram like ask me what game should I play on Twitch? Someone's some follower said I work at Twitch. I said, and let me know if you have any questions. I said, well, gee Willikers, how convenient. I do have some questions. Help. He <laughs> said, I'll put you on the path to be an affiliate. And he was like, and then I became an affiliate. Lewis was like, no, no, no. You became an affiliate on your own. This person did not make you an affiliate. But I'm like, did he make me an affiliate? Who made me an affiliate? Him or me? You did. Uh, yeah. The requirements are you have to stream for a certain amount of time on a certain number of days and get however average many people streaming. So I think it's what? Four four hours? I don't know. I didn't I have can't... to do it. It's in my head. I was oh, like, oh my God, this you. is so cool. This guy helped me become an affiliate. And Lewis is like, don't let other people think that they're responsible for your success. You're the one that made yourself an affiliate. You did this. You had all these viewers and like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh. I, I... can't say that because I know who's responsible for giving me what I had on Twitch. Who gave you an, who made you an <laughs> affiliate, Paco? Uh, this guy, Abe, helped me out a lot to getting to affiliate. And then. Um, How did he help you? Did he work at Twitch? Uh, he knew people there, and so he was like a good introduction. And then, do you know who uh, Anal is? Anal? No. Yeah. A n e l e. Which streamer is that? Is no, he's not a streamer. Oh, he, he's that like, sounds like Anel to me. It is Anel, but he likes his name is Hardcore Anal or Anel, <laughs> but he likes being called Hardcore Anal. Hardcore Anal. And he, nice. I don't know if he's still a Twitch, but he was like a huge. He was he was very big there. Okay. And he's the one who basically gave me partnership because St Peach rated me. And then because of Wait, that, STP traded you. Yeah. Oh God damn you. She's dope. Yeah, hell she's yeah. a homie. I follow her. Um, she's amazing. But because of that, uh, he it's saw. Like they're speaking pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, some you know how she raided you. So made essentially, my, made my day. Yeah, essentially, someone Z, yeah. did that for me Natalie. with uh, no offense, but a much larger yeah. audience. How many did you have? We're bragging. I know STPH has a lot of no, she, SCP she threw me viewers. That's a cute little name. I she got be, a fat ass. I that's be, why. Yo. Excuse me? She got a fat ass. She I want to be like Natalie Mini Peach. I don't know if that's going to work. Natalie uh, Tiny Cherry. That just sounds like something else. Natalie Blueberry. This girl's body is like unreal. This yeah. is her. And she's like the sweetest person too. How do you know this too. fucking person? Uh, I didn't. She does cosplays too. I just okay, I, I thought have a that it was a random. So sometimes people. Let's do another photo shoot. Let's fucking go. Paco took the best photos of me, <laughs> but there aren't any more because it's like all of the others are too similar. Let's fucking go. All right, chill. Just kidding. Dude. I'm, I'm so chill. Paco, <laughs> are you a photographer? Yeah, I, he's I, a photographer, I picked that up he's a was... videographer, he's a Twitch streamer, he works at Gas Digital, he's a comedian, he's really a well-rounded. I'm a rapper. Um, he also makes beats. No, I don't make beats. You are the coolest. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. He's a writer. Thanks, he's a style dude. icon. He's Hawaiian. He speaks pigeon, and he also goes. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> but um, essentially, she rated me, and because of that, like Twitch people watch her, and someone was like, he really liked me. He thought I was funny in the in the small like span that he was watching me. So he said, check your email, and then <gasps> because of that. I got partnership. Oh my god, dude, that's awesome. Partner is not easy to get. It isn't. I got it's lucky. A pain in the ass. The crazy Are you a thing partner? Too? Yeah. No. What? Mm -mm. See, this guy was like, maybe in a month you could be a partner. I think it's just consistency. I don't know if he's pretending that he can. Yeah. Well, imagine he listens to my podcast and he's like, you fucking bitch. Well, hey, maybe he can get you partner. I mean, if he yeah. works at Twitch. Hey, anal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not aware of this person. Yeah. How is that possible? Um, and then. Uh, so because uh with that, dude the thing about that was I got partnered less than a week before TwitchCon. Oh, so dude, because that's of awesome. that at TwitchCon I got to experience the entire thing as a partner and that's it was a really cool so experience. Cool. Yeah. So what? I'm like very grateful to him. I gave him uh uh Hawaiian chocolates and, oh a, my God, and a letter which ones? because of that. I always do like the the macadamia. The nuts. Mana, mana, mana well, I, mean, I have no nuts. allegiance. I just give it. Yeah, you Paul and I also ones? like American chocolates. We like New York chocolates. Paul and I have them together. We also have the same favorite band, Sonic Youth. Right, Paul? You like Sonic Youth? I love them. If Paul is one of the only people that also loves Sonic Youth the way that I do. I've been to three Sonic Youth concerts, and Paul loves them as well. Right, Paul? Paul, what's your favorite Sonic Youth songs? Top three. Mm, Diamond Sea. Mm, good New one. Hampshire, Long one. Mm. 
cool thing. Ah, oh, cool thing's a classic. All right, he, he might actually know. He was like, he passed the test. Yeah, I, I don't I know anything that's why about that. <laughs> <laughs> they could just be saying random words, and you'd yeah. be like, okay, cool. <laughs> Dude, I brought some Hawaiian snacks here when I was doing the Winter Olympics, and nobody liked them. That's really. not true. Was we it ate, the Lihimoy we ate stuff? Them at, we ate them at home. Did you you have brought them later, too. There have been others that you Yeah, brought. other times. Yeah, but in the very beginning. Yeah, but later people have learned to love them. Yeah, I guess. No one likes Lihimoy. Every time I try to give it to Lihimoy, them. Lihimoy, yeah, they did. Well, they they like it on the gummy bears. Well, yeah, everybody likes What's it on the gummy bears. It sounds like a STD. Lihingmoy is uh, Lihingmoy. Yeah, it's a it's just dried plum powder basically. And they have the mm. seeds too. We had a store in Hilo called the Crack Seed Store, and you could just go in and get all the different seeds. Oh yeah. my god, it's the. I want to go to Hawaii so bad. I've been saying this for years. Yeah. Uh. Well, I'm going to Jamaica, so I'm gonna compare how Jamaica was <gasps> in comparison to Hawaii. You're That's gonna a love good Jamaica. idea. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Jamaica is awesome because it's just another island. Yeah, it it's is. It's gotta be really similar. I feel that it, it's and there's be... poverty in both. It's absolutely it's and probably crack Jamaica's too. Jamaica's very different. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica, she's gonna wait. Jamaica, Jamaica's very different. <laughs> no, 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 I don't <laughs> mean The mean poverty like that. there is different. No, I don't mean poverty <laughs> is different. It's just fucking different. They have beef patties. It's delicious. It's fun. So it's it's different. It's like their spam to be. I feel like. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their beef patties are spam musubis. Yeah. They're huma huma. Because you can huma, go huma, huma, to 7 Eleven in Hawaii and get a spam musubi and a manapua. Like, that's mm-hmm. where you, that's what they have at 7 Eleven. I saw Thurston Moore and Yoko Ono at a little thing in the Lower East Side. You wouldn't believe it. I said, Who's that Asian lady screaming? It was Yoko Ono, Paul. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that Asian lady screaming? <laughs> This is this is an interesting fact about 7-Eleven. Maybe for you, maybe not for you guys, because you guys like Sonic Youth. But <laughs> <laughs> this the 7-Eleven in Hawaii is actually uh I think it's owned by a Japanese corporation, is which it is really? why they have different snacks in the oh, 7-Eleven, shit. like the Spam Musubis. I and did stuff. not know that. Yeah, so that's why the snacks there are different. They have the Manapuas. Yeah. In, in America, they have different things. And it's because it's even though it's seven eleven, exactly. Oh shit! Did you guys have KTAs on Oahu? No, we didn't. Okay, I that's like to, a Dwayne's think. Dwayne Reed's. Guys, I'm lost completely. That's why I'm explaining. We're gonna have to go back. To, <laughs> guys, we're gonna have Sorry. to wrap this up. We're just yammering about. I Hawaii love stuff. Hawaiian snacks, though. And Actually, you know I think, what? You know what? As a thank you for t- telling me about all these Hawaiian snacks, and and as a thank you for you know me and Paul sharing some knowledge about Sonic Youth. Maybe next time I see you guys, you can bring me some Hawaiian snacks. <laughs> I was actually gonna say the next episode we do together should be in Hawaii. <gasps> that would be fucking rad. Bathing suit episode. Yeah. Yes. Well, not me, dude. My body's fucking whack. I'm going to have to work out a lot. Oh, dude. Twitch IRL stream in Hawaii. Yes, let's do it. That would be sick. We can go to the beaches. I don't know how we're going to get Wi-Fi at guys, the beaches. Guys, if <laughs> you guys pay for our plane tickets, we will do I have an IRL a bathing suit. If, if someone pays for the plane tickets, I will pay for the hotel and do a bathing suit stream podcast episode with the two of them in Hawaii. I'll IRL backpack it. So basically, you guys can always be on camera. Oh my god, that would be so fucking fun. Yeah. Oh, everyone wants to see me and Zia together. That's amazing. And you're yeah, a great yeah. Especially in a bikini. In, Come on. in a bikini. How much is a plane ticket? Which island are we going to? We gotta go to two. I'm mostly saying that because I'm selfish and I want to go home. Yeah, I feel like it's that. <laughs> you're like, so... <laughs> so definitely the big island, right? <laughs> you guys are ready to meet my family, right? <laughs> guys, uh, um... I just want to ask you this. Paul because... wants to come too. He was going to throw it in, wasn't he? No, I was going to ask, am I crazy or is Honolulu a shithole? Um, kind of. Yeah. There's certain parts. It's super touristy and there are definitely parts that are kind of gnarly. Yeah. I went there and there was like abandoned skyscrapers. It was <gasps> that is that sounds awful. Awesome. Awesome. I don't think I there's that. abandoned skyscrapers. There's a lot of homeless skyscrapers people. Skyscrapers that looked rough. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. KPT maybe he's talking about. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. And there's also crackheads everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Meth, I think. Meth. Well, it's definitely meth. Let's go yeah. to a different island. Now, here's another thing that I'm thinking. <laughs> Which island are you from? Big island. And you? Oahu. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to go home right now, mm-hmm. and I'm going to stream on Twitch after I finish cleaning. What would you recommend I do? Chat? Yes. Just chatting, Since yeah. you like it, yeah. Do just chatting. And I feel like when I came in last night, you were you were drinking, and you were high, and it seemed like you were having a really fun time. And you can do that on Twitch. Like, mm-hmm. do a drinking stream. Make Do have a fun, like, drinking game. I did. Every five subs, I was going to take a shot, but then I wound up chugging. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's where you got to control the alcoholic side of I you. I literally <laughs> called Lewis's cool. sister in the middle of my stream last night, and I was like, Jenny, come over, I have weed, and you need to smoke it. And she was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I have weed right here, and it's going, Jenny, 
<laughs> and she came over. She did, and we smoked together and ended my stream. You remember? That's yeah, I do remember. Funny. She did. I heard her. I don't uh, know who she was, but I heard her. Do you, does the Xbox have uh, the ability to like watch YouTube videos? Can you stream that? That's a good question. I actually don't know because yeah. you could do reaction. Exactly. Videos. Yeah. You can watch reaction t- videos yeah. to the podcast. No, that's that's too meta in, in your own world. Reaction videos to yeah, people like, want like reaction top videos. Top TikToks. Like if you just watch mm-hmm. like it's like twenty like twenty minutes of just like TikTok videos and you reacting to it and then talking about it. Yeah. That you're, it's almost like your Tosh point oh type of thing. You or know? Moist Critical. Charlie does that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do that. It was a Tuesday show. It was called Zunt. Z N X Tuesday. So I think this, like, that stuff is so simple because you don't have to control anything. Yep. Right. You're focused on what everyone can see. Right. And now it's just your voice, your personality, mm-hmm. your perspective. I think that's what you should do. He's right. Thank you, guys. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. Don't listen to Dylan. Oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say if that. If you find a game you really like, like, if there's a game that Fortnite. you get into. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Fortnite. that's a good game. Yeah. Yeah. I love Fortnite. Yeah. Do you, I feel like the way you're saying that you don't love Fortnite. I love it. <laughs> Maybe you would like <laughs> a eyes. game like, like have you ever played that game Inside or Limbo? Mm-mm. Little Nightmares. I feel like it, because then you don't have to, you can still control the camera a little bit, but it's just a side scroller. Oh, like a, yeah, side scroller. Side scroller puzzle games, things oh, like that. Dude. Watching her Fuck play. Fuck Mary Kill, Lee Ronaldo, Kim Gordon, Thurston Moore. Is that Sonic Youth stuff? <laughs> I was like, huh? Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> yeah. Is that Hedgehog Youngsters? Actually, or something? Yes. <laughs> Hedgehog um, kill Thurston Moore. <gasps> fuck Kim Gordon. Mary Lee Ronaldo. Wow. Is it his fault that the marriage failed and it broke up the band? Yeah. Dude, this conversation. They're having their own conversation. <laughs> We're having our own conversation. And every time we say stuff, they look completely lost. Every time they say stuff, we're like, huh? We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Guys, do some plugs. Paco, where the fuck can people find you? Uh, just watch the gas digital gas journals. That's you? You do gas journal? Yeah. They're pretty good. I feel like they're really good. That was. They're a, very a you didn't like that. That was anything. forced. Yeah. yeah remember, be genuine. Okay, I know that you do gas journal, and I think that you do a really good job with them, and I'm excited that everyone knows that that's you because you're very talented. Paco, where can people find you? That's it. Yeah, I don't push my own socials anymore. Why? Why? Because uh, I need to build up a catalog and a reason to push my socials. So that's why I'm working a lot on my stand-up right now. Ah, okay, so I want to post it. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find Paco on Instagram at badpacobad. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And uh, he's a very funny comedian. He hosted my birthday show. He fucking crushed it. Super hilarious. Mm-hmm. Luckily, we have a tape of it. He's very funny. Hopefully, he puts that out. Very funny. He does my show at the Tiny Cover a lot on Saturdays in Brooklyn, 10 Cooper Street. If you're in Brooklyn, 7 p.m. Saturdays. Paco's hilarious. Follow him on Instagram and try to seek out a stand up. Zia, where can people find you? Uh, at Zia underscore land. It's X I A underscore L A N D on um, Instagram, Twitter. What's the other one? TikTok. Don't follow me there. I got to post more things. And then, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube, Zealand. Subscribe to my Twitch, Zealand. Subscribe to my OnlyFans, Zealand. All the things. Zia is amazing. I love Zia so much. Thank you, Zia, for being here. You're so awesome. Thank you for having me. And uh, as always, follow me on Instagram at Natalie Cuomo underscore. Follow me on YouTube, youtube.com slash Natalie Cuomo. Let's go. And Twitch, twitch.tv slash Natalie Cuomo. Let's have some fun. Thank you, guys. Thanks for listening to Help with Natalie Cuomo. Tune in next week for another episode. Find us on social media at Help with Natalie.